Currently, we have a citizen science monitoring programme in the River Usk. So we're working with Save the River Usk, Gwent Wildlife Trust, and we have our own set of volunteers. And they are routinely, on a weekly basis, going out to various different tributaries of the River Usk. And they are taking setcha tube data, so turbidity. They're doing phosphate, HANA checkers. They're doing nitrate and nitrite strips, uh, electrical conductivity and they are then uploading that to our platform where we are starting to build a picture of how the river usk behaves at the different nutrient levels and the different tributaries but the problem with citizen science data is so far it's not widely been used in decision making because people don't trust it so what we're doing with our water splits today is we are taking water samples um, at the same sites that people are citizen science monitoring and we're sending those water samples to an accredited lab so that hopefully we can identify the margin of error between citizen science sampling and what we see as a much more real and accredited picture from our lab results. And we can then start to build a case that citizen science data, when we're using it on this scale, is a valid tool in decision making and paints a realistic picture of what's actually happening in the river. That's me, got my samples done, now I'm going to go and meet the volunteers. I'm here with the volunteers now for the pickup of the samples. Uh, thank you for doing this, it will help us out it's a lot. pleasure Jamie, I'm <laughs> Ross, yeah, I'm very pleased to help. And two samples. Perfect. One from the Rini Mur, okay. which is a tributary, and one from the main stem, the Lady Pool, the Nova. Lovely, thank you so much. And, um, and hey, thank Jamie. you. Yeah, Richard. Sample just from the bridge right here on the ask. Yeah. Water blitz. Very important the beat. EDNA sample. Excellent. Right. Thank you very much. Hope it all goes well. I'm going to take these to the office now to get them to the lab by the end of the day so we can get the time sensitive samples measured. Having a suite of volunteers monitoring the entirety of the River Usk on the same day presents a unique opportunity. Because of this, Wyanusk and Cardiff University are working in collaboration on an environmental DNA project. So what we're doing at the same time as the water blitz is we were also gathering environmental or eDNA samples, which Cardiff University are analysing in their lab. So right now I need to take the water sample and this is going to be collecting eDNA from upstream from here for this whole reach of river. So what I need to do is filter out the water with this sterilised syringe and I'm going to filter it by putting it through this specifically designed eDNA filter. They're going to analyse these samples to see exactly what species are living in each of the watercourses within the USK and we want to see how the composition of those species changes depending on different factors, for instance urbanised areas, heavily farmed areas or very relatively natural catchments. Uh, and then this data will then be used to inform future decision making for us, but hopefully also answer a few questions and potentially ask a few more which we can look into. So the key with the water blitz is it's happening on the same time within a set time range. So we've got the citizen scientists are going out and they're doing their own standard citizen science sampling. We've got the water blitz sample which will go to the lab and we've also on some sites been collecting the eDNA. So we wanted everyone to be taking their sample between a certain window, which has been done this morning, and then just really to get the, everything back here at the, at the office so we can just get it uh, logged, packed up and ready to go just for the deadlines to get to the lab and then back down to Cardiff Uni University as well for the eDNA samples. Um, and that's the key with the water blitz, that we're just doing everything within a sort of certain time frame, so the parameters of the sampling and the citizen science sampling are running side by side and then they can be compared.